So, the main idea is we all want our children to learn computers, right? There is a problem with that. Today's computers and maybe 5 year later computers and 10 years later computers are going to be totally different beasts. There is no way in which you can teach children from grade 1 to grade 8 quote unquote computers and teach them anything useful. So, is there no way to get our children ahead in that race? There is of course. What you need to teach the children is how to think with computers and that is what C. S. Patshala is trying to do. We need to do two things here. One, remove the idea that we want to teach computers and two, install the idea that we want to teach them correct methods of thinking, good methods of thinking. More of computing is going to move from devices that you see on your desk or you can clearly see in a bag, the bag becomes heavier. Computing is going to move from such devices to devices you can hold on a, in your hand. The mobile phone is becoming more and more of a computer and the traditional computers are getting less and less useful as the mobile phone takes over the functions of it. So, what do we want to teach children? No, not about today's computers. They will be obsolete by the time they become productive users of computers. So, should we teach them about mobile phones? Hardly. They will teach you. They know how to use mobile phones much better than you do. So, what exactly is it that we are trying to teach school children? Well, there is a whole science behind the technology, how it was developed and how it should be used. Take the example of you want to give somebody directions for reaching a certain point or for uh, uh, cooking something or whatever purpose you want to give directions. How do you give a person directions? You have to think like that person. You have to say if I was told this, what would I do? and then you can build right directions. There are many people who can cook very well, but cannot tell someone else how to cook. There are many people who can find their way through an old part of town, but they cannot tell someone else how to get to a point in the old town. Why I use old town? That because mostly Google Maps do not know those places. And so, you have to tell. Anyway, so, there are occasions when you program a fellow human beings, there are occasions when you program yourself and of course, there are occasions when you program computers and same ideas, the same set of ideas are utilized in all these three situations and it is those ideas that we are trying to teach. It is much more fundamental than just getting them to jump through a hoop of you know getting a program correct. There is much more to it and that I think is knowledge which is going to last much longer, remain useful much longer than the knowledge about today's technology. Today's technology will be obsolete tomorrow, but these ideas will not be obsolete. They are about good thinking habits and they will last a long time.